the last video I showed you where I was connecting the under quilt with plastic uh, S hooks to the suspension here and I decided to change that because they were actually pulling off so I just got these plastic uh, they're kind of mini carabiner S hook thingies but they can go right over there they seem to work good and I don't think that's going to hurt anything and it seems nice and taut it holds it in place pretty well um, I went ahead and made the ridge line I was talking about and this is not intended to take up tension like on a on a gathered end it attaches to the suspension right up here with those plastic S hooks so if it does get too much tension this will hopefully pull off or break before it does any damage to anything and this is adjustable for tension right here kind of a prusik kind of situation there well today's experiment uh, mainly involved setting up the ridge runner with a ridge line that I put there to help uh, support the underquilt and it seemed to work really well and it was a cold day 25 degrees very blustery wind and I went out for a hike ended up changing locations to a more sheltered place where I could set up everything and uh, well we'll take a look at how it went right 25 degrees out a nice chilly day a good uh, day to test the under quilts just a week ago or so it was uh, in the 60s or 70s so I am, I am not acclimated to the cold yet in the two or three months 25 degrees won't be anything but this time of year it's very cold <laughs> a very cold 25 degrees it is a chilly breezy day out somewhat unpleasant but not as bad as uh, I imagine made it out to be beforehand all right I'm heading back to the car that wind is just too strong out here I can't find anywhere uh, where I'm protected from it and that's that wind chill is going to be probably in single digits so I've got another spot where I can go I'm going to hop back, back in the car and drive over there and uh, this way I'll still get a nice little hike in well, I'm sweating, something that's to be avoided in the winter if possible. Um, I tried to uh, wear a minimal amount of insulation and ventilate as much as possible and go slowly, but I sweat no matter what. Um, normally I would wear, you know, the breathable waterproof outer layer, but I get soaked when I wear those, so I tried something different. I just put my let couple layers of pile on with the idea that uh, the cold dry air as it warmed up near my body would absorb the moisture and suck it out of the insulation and uh, hopefully it will not be as bad as I think but <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it anyways uh, break time is over get moving again start sweating again back to the car I'm about a mile north of where I was before and this should be much more sheltered from the wind so I'm going to give myself a few minutes to warm up here my fingers are kind of numb and the rest of me is overheated so I'm going to cool off and warm up at the same time well you can hear the wind blowing but it's much more sheltered in here so I will show you as much as I can uh, before the batteries die from the cold bloody thing was on macro well it's much more sheltered here come back here you all right I'm in everything's set up it's a little bit gusty today a little bit chilly so I don't know if you could see that I have the ridge line set up there the yellow thing and then there are several elastic uh, shot cord thingies that go to the side of the under quilt and that does appear see if I could do this again without shutting off the camera by accident so I've got the shot cords going from the under quilt up to the ridge line that I have made on there and there's a bunch of them there I don't know if you can see but it's pulling up the sides of the under quilt reasonably well um, it's 25 degrees out in brisk today <laughs> that's a way to put it I'm in my 
one wind top quilt and this is the one wind under quilt blanket combo no uh, under quilt protectors no rain fly up today I just wanted to test the insulation I also have a sleep pad underneath me right now I've got a slight cold sensation on my butt and under my shoulder blades but I just got in this rig a few minutes ago so extreme close-up <laughs> I just got in this rig a few minutes ago so I haven't really had a chance to warm everything up yet um, I have the top quilt on the under quilt and blanket combo and a sleeping pad in the between the two layers and uh, as I was saying a moment ago I uh, feel slightly chilly under my butt and under my shoulder blades but that may go away in a few minutes I'm going to pull my I'm going to retract my freezing cold hand now and get back with you in a few minutes now when those big gusts hit and those trees really start moving I do feel it on the suspension I feel it kind of jumping a little bit nothing like it would be damaging it or tipping me over um, I feel it a little bit the, the top quilt is only rated to about 35 degrees on the low end and it's 25 out and gusty and really the only time I feel the breeze through the top quilt is uh, there's these hand holes that I'm sticking my arms out through and they snap shut and I've left them open and that's where I feel the breeze coming in so I would think that with another layer inside here this might be good for another 10 degrees downward maybe get into the teens with this I'm fairly comfortable in here um, I could I don't know if you can see that that's my arm protruding from the the hole in the top quilt um, I'm not really cold I feel a little bit cold but I'm not cold but I think if I was laying in this for more hours that I would feel it more intensely so I think I do need another layer but I think if the temperatures were in the 30s I'd be okay we'll give it a little while longer I've only been in here about 10 minutes and I keep sticking my arm out and letting cold air in hi hi mom got that nice rocking motion just going from the breeze moving the trees around and uh, I feel quite comfortable as far as the hammock goes I, it feels very solid under me as I've said before it has that taut uh, taut cot feel to it and I do feel slightly chilly um, I, I'm not wearing long johns which I would normally do and if I was spending an overnighter here I would also have probably heavier socks on I just have thin cotton ones I would probably put on thicker wool ones and all right we've got the whole set up here um, I'm gonna throw everything in the pack and get back to the car it is cold today I this time I made a little change I did hook up the the elastic for the under quilt and that really helps pull the the end of the uh, under quilt up and uh, along with the elastic that I had coming from the sides that really I think helped a lot all right I'm throwing everything away <laughs> what am I what am I doing I'm putting everything away there we go another view of it in action well it, it worked out pretty well um, especially the ridge line the under quilt seemed to do its job I was very comfortable the hammock also I was very comfortable with both of those the top quilt is uh, was hitting above its weight it's really only rated to about 35 degrees out so it, I got an extra 10 degrees out it but out of it but I still felt chilly when the wind blew so I think if I had been wearing wool socks long johns in in the top quilt needs a hood of some kind because your head is sticking out the top so it needs uh, some hood or you need extra head protection anyways 
for that and probably in another layer so what I might do is just get another one and I think that'll keep me nice and warm nice and snug the really cool thing about that top quilt is when you put it on it's got the the foot box and then there's a, a neck hole that you put your neck your head through obviously and just the whole rest of the quilt just naturally wants to wrap around your body so it makes it really easily easy when you're in a hammock to kind of fit it around you and and get that um, top quilt coziness going I would say the main thing that I had trouble with was my fingers because I had to take my gloves off um, None of this stuff is particularly easy to set up when it's cold with gloves on. So I took my gloves off and it took a good long time to get everything set up and I had to move stuff around, make adjustments, of course, as you do sometimes. So it took a good long time uh, to get it set up. Once I did, everything worked about as well as I could have expected it to. Um, I didn't warm up very quickly inside, though. I kept sticking my hands out to shoot stuff and <laughs> with the camera and uh and uh that had a lot to do with it probably uh had there been another layer in there it, it might have helped as well uh, extra layer of insulation right and obviously a rain fly an underquilt protector a bivy cover all of that stuff would have helped keep the wind off of me and raise the lower limit or raise the lower limit push the lower limit down a few more degrees anyways so I uh, think that a little more tweaking is in order, but I'm all, overall I'm really happy with the way everything went together. The hammock felt really solid and comfortable and cozy. It, it didn't feel cramped or anything. Um, again, I haven't experienced any un, undue tippiness with the bridge hammock, although I know some people seem to say they do. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, it worked fine for me. Very comfortable.